So last night I really didn't get much sleep. I was kind of tossing and turning and worrying about the car. And I think it's because it's actually the most responsibility that I've ever had. I'm going through all these mind-numbingly boring insurance documents. I've got to check if the engine has oil and water, two things I have no idea how to do, even though I passed my test. One thing I'm really excited about is just the endless possibilities of having a car and what you can shoot. Not only am I able to take all the equipment I could possibly want in the enormous boot that it's got, but it means I can get to people that are too far away for me to cycle to. It means I can get to events. It means I can get to different locations. Something I did not prepare for, which was the rain, which has just started. Thank God. So it's just started pretty much pouring down. A few minutes ago, I was driving with the top down on the A3, minding my own business. Then the rain came on the windshield and I thought, fuck. The goat car is gonna have one outing and then it's gonna be sunk. If anyone could sink a car, it's gonna be me. Made it here just in the nick of time. So I'm off to see Aaron Shepard in Cobham. First time I'm gonna see him in this car and hopefully he's gonna give me some suggestions as to how to fix it up, goat star. Well, this is an interesting piece of kit, isn't it? What are you gonna to do to decorate it? Okay, I'm here to ask your opinion. I mean, the first thing we have to do is go for a test drive. Is it the car that worries you or is it my driving abilities? Oh, I'm definitely not gonna let you drive. But yeah, have an inspection. Do you want me to pop the bonnet? I've just learned how to do that. It doesn't sound great, if I'm honest. <laughs> Can't really hit the streets without this customization though. Now I've got some ideas that I was gonna run past you. I'm gonna have some pom-poms and flags and goats and whatnot. Yeah. But I was thinking of painting my whole body orange. Right. And then dyeing my hair leopard pattern. I was thinking more decorate the car than yourself. We've got to go for a spin. Who's driving? You're driving. I'll drive. Okay. It doesn't start with a key. Ah. Well, I think we should talk about marketing and advertising that's utilised the car in bygone eras. I mean, Red Bull just did such a good job with branding, right? People remember back to the mid 2000s when all of a sudden you started seeing those Red Bull cars everywhere. Always full of Red Bull, always giving out Red Bull. Still going. Yeah, not to the same extent though, is it? Red Bull realised very early on they had a very different product that the consumers weren't used to. So they had to get people to try it and then once they did they're essentially become addicted to it that's what they did i think it's very similar with goat once you try it you become addicted to it get the car out there get people to have a little bit of a taste and then you know we got them i could cycle about 30 miles a day you know that wrote off people like Craig in Manchester, people like Sam Fowler, who's on the outskirts of London, I think maybe Essex. Mary up in Leeds and a few others. So I think I'm gonna to have to make some special visits. So what does this mean for the vlog then? I mean, you guys signed it off, so you must have thought in some way it was a good idea that we got a car? Well, I don't want to prohibit people based on location if we can avoid it. I don't want a scenario where the only people that are in the vlog are the people that happen to live close to you. And then I think it obviously makes it a lot easier. It's all well and good you cycling around now when the sun's out. It's still like this in November or something and it's pouring down or it's snowing or yeah. like it's, you just can't do it. And I don't want to stop the content. You know, we've been in a situation where for the last year, everyone's come to you in the office and now you're gonna to have to go to them essentially. Customization is gonna begin sometime soon when I can find some orange spray paint. And also, if you do see me coming in my orange car, which you will, stick your thumb out and get a cameo on the GOAT vlog. I won't pick you up though. I'm not picking up hitchhikers though. Well, Aaron? Yeah? Can I come out now? Where are you? <laughs> well, you put me in the boot. What are you, oh, what, what are you talking about? 